The life cycle of malaria begins when an infected female mosquito lands on and bites a person. Once the anopheles mosquito begins to feed from the blood vessels of the individual, microscopic sporozytes will cross from the mosquito saliva to the bloodstream. A sporozyte is the immature form of one of the four plasmodium parasites. The sporozyte will eventually circulate through the body until it arrives at the liver. It cannot survive without a host and will invade the liver cells to start reproducing asexually. The sporozytes will further develop into a mass known as schizont. This is a process of amplification and will take anywhere from 5 days to 21 days. For Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale, this can be delayed and take as long as two, one to two years. These schizomes rupture and release thousands of single nucleated merozoites into the host bloodstream. Then merozoites can infect a red blood cell, while at the same time, it can release toxic compounds, which causes a fever and body chills. The merozoites can affect other red blood cells within the same cycle and cause a major impact of symptoms to the body. In the red blood cells, the plasmodium parasite can develop into either an erythrocytic stage schizoint or a gamteocyte. The erythrocytic stage determines the time between the release of successful merozoites with the species of plasmodium and determines the intervals of fever and malaria. Once successful merozoites complete multiple cycles of invading red blood cells, they will produce infectious gametocytes that can be both male and female. When an uninfected mosquito bites a person with malaria, the infectious gametocytes and the sexual stage of plasmodium will occur within the mosquito. They will combine the male and female gametes to zygote. They will further develop into an oocyst and undergo fertilization within the infected mosquito, which will eventually result in rupture, releasing many sporozytes, which will travel to the saliva of the mosquito. This process can occur over a two to three week span of time. The period of time between the infection of mosquito and development of sporozytes determines if the female mosquitoes will be able to transmit malaria to individuals, thus furthering the cycle of malaria. Malaria can cause a great amount of damage to their host. In a mild case, a person can experience sweating, body chills, and a very high fever, as well as other flu-like symptoms. Majority of these people can survive without any medical treatment, but if needed, do you seek medical treatment? People who do survive malaria have a limited immunity and it can acquire malaria again in their lifetime. In serious cases, damage to the kidneys, liver, and brain can occur. Severe anemia will also develop in an infected individual. If left untreated, malaria will lead to death or will leave the infected individual permanently disabled. The people who have the highest risk of getting malaria are sub-Saharan travelers from Africa along with women and children in infected areas. Moreover, anyone who travels to countries where malaria is present and people who are not vaccinated against the disease are also at risk.